This is a public service announcement for all designers, photographers, and video editors looking to get it into an ultra book for their creative work. Now, for a long time, the H-series processors have been the go-to recommendation for myself to the community for video editing and graphic design and digital art and photography. However, things have changed with the latest release of the i7-1260P from Intel in the Lenovo Yoga 9i Gen 7, the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro, Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED, all great laptops toting the 1260p from Intel. Now this is a Asus Vivo Book S14X, and this has the i7-12700H without a dedicated GPU. Now the reason that I'm making this video is because I want to make sure you guys choose the right laptops. Okay. If you have an i7-12700H, in my opinion, you should be getting a dedicated GPU with it because the amount of power draw you're gonna have out of a H-series processor will dramatically kill your battery life. However, in the past, it would have been understandable to get good performance. However, now that we're at a place where Intel has produced the i7-1260P, which is both energy efficient and powerful without a dedicated GPU, it makes more sense to avoid the H-series processor that does not include a dedicated GPU because of inefficiencies to go for the i7-1260P, which is more efficient and powerful, which we'll see in the benchmarks here in just a minute for anything like 4K video editing, graphic design, digital art, and photography. Now, if you're somebody who wants to get into 3D modeling, 6K video editing, or just very intense 4K video editing, then you should absolutely go for an H-series processor with a dedicated GPU. If you're gonna get an H-series this day and age, you should have a dedicated GPU so they both work in tandem and get a lot of great performance. I'm gonna include some laptops in the benchmark charts that have both the H-series processor and the dedicated GPU so you can see how much of a performance bump the laptop gets when it's paired together. But when it's not paired with a dedicated GPU, you might as well stick with the 1260p. Okay, before I walk in circles, let's jump into the benchmarks. Now, as we look at the simulated benchmarks in Geekbench, both single core and multi-core, it looks as if the VivoBook S14X with the i7-12700H is gonna be a good performer. In single core, it's getting above the 1260Ps, but as we move into multi-core, because of all the heat that's being produced from the CPU, they have to do what's called thermal throttling. So they have to throttle the CPU in order to make sure it doesn't get too hot, and then they can keep the fan noise down. The problem with that is it decreases the inevitable, the problem with that is it decreases the performance that we would see if this CPU was stuck in more of a gaming PC with more room to vent with a GPU to complement that workload, right? And so because this is such a thin and light laptop, they have to use thermal throttling in order to keep it cool rather than having a thicker chassis in order to fit more heat pipes and more fans into to cool the CPU. So we're seeing a decrease in performance. Now, as we move into Cinebench R23, you can see that it looks as if the processor will still perform well. So for running a lot of simulated benchmarks, the clear choice looks as if it would be the i7 H series processor in the S14X from Asus. However, as we get into real world benchmarks, which is where this whole conversation comes full circle, it's not even a competition. You see at the bottom of the charts, the VivoBook S14X with that H series processor. You see beating it out by a couple hundred points is the Galaxy Book. Now, not only are you gonna get better results as far as performance is concerned, but these laptops with the 1260p are gonna get substantially better battery life. For your productivity battery life, that's you know doing web browsing, jumping on Zoom calls, writing papers, you're gonna see about 11 to 13 hours of battery life out of the 1260p's. Whereas out of the H series processor, you're only gonna see maybe eight hours of battery life. Now, as you jump into Photoshop, you're gonna see about five to seven hours of battery life out of the 1260p processors, whereas the H series processor, you're gonna see about three to four hours of battery life. So it all looks good on paper, but then as soon as you start putting these laptops in real world tests, it, does, it dramatically decreases based on the fact that this processor is not matched with a dedicated GPU or a thicker chassis to properly cool it. Now looking at the Premiere Pro 4K export times, you can see that the i7-12700H, because of the thermal throttling, is exporting at a much slower time than the i7-1260P CPUs. When we're looking at 4K playback, 
the new 1260p processors do very well. They have very low drop frames at fourth quality, half quality, and even full quality. We see at fourth quality and half quality, the H series processor does well. But as soon as we go up to full quality, it immediately has about 9,000 drop frames in the 4K project out of 16,177. So that means that the playback is gonna be better on these mobile processors than it will be on this H series processor because it is throttling the CPU. It's not allowing it to have that full performance of the CPU. So if this was a thicker chassis, complemented with a dedicated GPU, we would see incredible performance out of this laptop. However, because of the circumstance it's in, it just doesn't perform as well as it should. Now, if you got questions or comments, definitely drop those below. Otherwise, links are free to make a purchase of any of these models if it's helped you with the buying decision. Likes that this video has brought you some value. And here's some other videos uh, to help you along the way of picking the right laptop for your needs. I'll see y'all here in the next video.